artist Courtney Wall has been on the program previously. She is not only super talented, she's a big baseball fan. And we're having Courtney on the program today to talk about some new work that she's created with a really interesting way of painting and creating using baseball equipment. So, I mean, this is obviously sped up and we're, we're really speeding things up because this was a painstaking process that Courtney created a series of Shohei Otani portraits using baseballs and bats. That is absolutely lovely. And Courtney joins us on the program to talk about it. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning. Thank you for having me. What was the motivation and the inspiration for using balls and bats to do these Otani works? Well, the process came to me a couple of years ago. In my studio, I began experimenting using baseballs, baseball bats, cutting the balls in half, and even using footballs to create these abstract backgrounds for my painting. And as I was moving paint across the canvas, I completely fell in love with the process. Not only were these abstract backgrounds turning out to be so beautiful, but when you looked really closely at them, you could see the seams of the baseball and in a football painting, you could see the marking from the skin of the football. So I really en enjoyed engaging in the process. And then of course, using my brushwork to create the likeness of the player as well. Wow, that is cool. It's really stuff. cool. Wow, it's really job. cool. Courtney, how how do you pick out your next uh, subject? I mean, is it is? Are you looking at the news? Are you looking at games? Do you follow certain teams? Uh, how how do you come up with what what's the next project? Well, I'm partnered with Fanatics Authentic, so a lot of the pieces that I'm doing right now in baseball are licensed by Major League as well as the Players Association. And we co-collaborate the pieces according to what are gonna be the next hot players that are coming up that we want to showcase and, and highlight in artwork, basically. So are these available on, on a site uh, for purchase for the general public? Yes, actually. These are tiny pieces behind me are available in Three different formats well we've got the original which is 36 inches by 48 inches that's going to be available within the next few hours on mlbauction.com it's also going to be signed by otan spring training then we have two limited that we're offering one of which is a series of 21 prints each of which are going to be and embellished by me to have the look likeness and feel of an original painting these will be signed by Otani during spring training as well and available on MLB.com as well as across Fanatics website for $5,000. They're available now, actually, for fans who want to buy them. And then we're also offering an edition of 2021 prints, which are a little bit smaller. They're 16 by 20 inches. Each is hand signed by me. And they're going to they're available for ninety nine dollars on MLB Shop, as well as Fanatics website, and also on the official online website of the Angels. And these are what those guys look like. They're a little bit smaller, but gallery wrapped and ready to hang. Great for the holidays. Wow, good stuff. So, awesome. So, Courtney, uh, we saw the time lapsed version of you uh, making this. How long does it take? Uh, the big one, your your biggest piece. How long does it take, start to finish? Yeah. Those take about two weeks. There's a lot of layering in the process of applying the paint. You gotta let it dry and then work with the bat again, work with the balls and and really let really let the background form to create these vibrant colors. And then creating the likeness of the athlete as well takes some time. It's more fine tuning. So when you see a time lapse video condensed into one minute, it it makes the process look very quick, but it does take a lot of time. So has Shohei seen these? Do you know? I'm not sure, but he certainly will soon. Yeah, I think he's going to like them. Uh, and the next question I have for you is this, because I know that um, you've created some things for Harold. He does have quite an outstanding balance here at the Say Hey Cafe. Uh, has he paid in full for the work that you've created for him? <laughs> <laughs> he still owes me. No, I'm and Harold and I are good. <laughs> and what you created for him, he, he showed it to us earlier, and he loves this. This is when we do shows from home, uh, this is your yeah. work that's in the shot all the time. Did he ask for this specifically, or was this something that you had done and he saw it? I had created 
this piece, uh, it was actually showcased on MLB Network in 2015 on Martin Luther King Day, uh, along with 11 other of my paintings. And at that point, it was a work in progress. I was touching it up here and there. But I finally finished it last year. And um, with the 100th anniversary of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum and the Negro Leagues. And uh, proceeds of each purchase were going to support the museum. So they still are. Harold loved that piece. That's actually where I had first met Harold. So he said, I, I get a copy of it. These are three of my guys. And I said, I'd be honored, honored to give you one. So that's how... That's how Harold acquired that painting. Very cool. Hey, uh, we really appreciate the time coming on with us. The Otani work is awesome. What a great piece. And I think fans are going to eat this up uh, internationally. You. As you know, he's, he's got quite a, an appeal. Thanks for joining us, Courtney.